Skull of Corruption! Alright, let's get right down to it this time. To start the quest, all you gotta do is head on over to Dawnstar and go to the inn. And if it's the first time you've ever entered the place, you will see a nice little gathered up circle of people. All chatting about, about nightmares and bad dreams and how it's coming from a specific source. So all, you've, all that you've got to do is specifically speak to the monk named Erander. And as you see here, I had a Dark Brotherhood contract at the time. But anyway, you just t take a nice little chat with Erander. And he'll give you all the basic details that you need to know. Like where the nightmares are coming from. Or at least what he thinks is the cause of the nightmares. Where you can go to stop it. And before he fully answers all your questions, he has you follow him. And all you gotta do here, you just follow him for a good little while. And eventually he'll just stop, give you information. He'll just feed you pieces at a time. And he'll bring you up to a castle point type thing at the top of Dawnstar. It's not too far away, but the walk takes a little while. But once you get inside, he'll use his magic to open up a secret door that you couldn't otherwise pass without starting this quest. And he will run you through the entire place gathering minor ingredients, one of which is a book known as the Dreamstride. And it's not that hard to find. It's quest marked. It's on a pedestal. And as you travel further, killing the people inside as you go, he'll have you find Vermina's Torpor to go into a very strange, trippy dream sequence thing. Uh, quick note while you're in there, don't be afraid of all the people fighting. You will not be attacked. You will not die, even though you're unarmed and you have no weapons. So you, you just go through the whole to Torpor effect. And once you respawn, you just... Disable the miasma and the magic barrier that is disrupting your passage. Eventually you'll come to a very strange script that you'll understand as you do the quest. It's a cute little fight. And you kill them. And then Erondor comes to disable the force field that's protecting the skull of corruption. And Vermina telepathically speaks to you, giving you a choice. You can either allow Erondor to destroy the staff by completing the ritual, which destroys the staff, but it allows you to have him as a companion for the rest of the game. Or you can kill him and take the Skull of Corruption for yourself. Now, as I've said in past videos, I mostly just collect these items, but to be quite honest, out of all of these weapons and items that I collect and never really use, this is probably the most worthless one. Because the way it works is you gain, like, power f for it by stealing the dreams of sleeping people. And then the staff effect itself is so-so. So, I don't know, the item itself just isn't the greatest, but it's still a pretty cool looking item. I definitely prefer the Oblivion effect, which is cloning. But either way, this has been Zero Solstice. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like, maybe favorite, subscribe if you haven't already, but you most likely have. And if you have, thank you. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day.